Here is the latest buy offer of alfalfa hay that an importer from Kuwait is looking to import. The buyer wants the shipment to be delivered to the Shawaik port. This video will share the complete requirement of the buy offer to understand the business terms, including payment method, quantity, and much more. By going through this offer in depth, suppliers can send personalized quotations. What is alfalfa hay in this requirement? Basically, the term hay refers to dried grasses and other plant material used as animal feed. Usually, the material is cut when it is still green in the field, and then it is dried. A quality hay crop needs to be harvested at the right time, handled to preserve the leaves, and cured to prevent spoiling or discoloration. Compared to other grass hays, alfalfa hay has a much higher protein content. This nutrient-dense hay is a fantastic choice for animals in high production life phases who require some nutritional support in their diet because it contains high amounts of protein, calcium, and vitamins. Who consumes alfalfa hay? Dairy cows, horses, beef cattle, chickens, and other farm animals. Another aspect of this offer is quality so first, we should understand the difference beet slash W normal and premium alfalfa hay. The protein content is one of the main distinctions between premium alfalfa hay and regular alfalfa hay. Depending on when the alfalfa was cut, premium alfalfa hay typically contains substantially greater levels of protein, ranging from 15% to 21%. Compared to normal alfalfa hay, which normally contains 10% or less protein. As mentioned in the buy offer, the first order will be two 40 feet containers and they expect the quantity will grow up to six containers per month. They need the same 20 kilograms bales. So, two 40 feet containers and 20 kilograms bales means, one 40 feet container can have 800 to 900 of 20 kilograms bales. The total order will have 1600 to 1800 of 20 kilograms bales, and this quantity can grow up to three times. The buyer has also mentioned CIF as a shipping term for this buy offer. So, let's discuss CIF. CIF stands for cost, insurance, and freight. These are the charges that a seller has to cover in order to cover the cost, insurance, and freight of an order from a distributor while in transit. This summarized is the definition of CIF. Only goods transported by water, the sea, or ocean are affected by CIF. What are the buyer's responsibilities during CIF? The buyer is responsible for any costs once the freight has reached the buyer's destination port. Transport, offloading, and delivery fees to the ultimate destination are all part of the process. What are the seller's responsibilities during CIF? The seller is responsible for covering the costs, insurance, and freight of the buyer's shipment while in transit. Security of inspections of the items, covering the costs, and agreements related to moving or transporting the items are all part of the process. Importing country and discharge port are also mentioned in this by offer. According to the reports Kuwait purchased significant amounts of alfalfa hay from its top suppliers in 2022, including Spain, Egypt, Sudan, the United States, South Africa, Italy, Lithuania, and Ethiopia. These nations were in charge of delivering a sizable quantity of alfalfa hay to Kuwait. Let's dive deeper into the order potentia. The alfalfa hay market is projected to register a CAGR of 5.6% during the forecast period, 2022-2027. The protein content is one of the main distinctions between premium alfalfa hay and regular alfalfa hay. Let's talk about alfalfa hay consumption. With the help of this analysis, we can forecast the real consumption of alfalfa hay on a quarterly, weekly, or even daily basis. For instance, if the farmers feed their animals 5 pounds of alfalfa per day, 35 pounds per week, and 140 pounds per month, they can complete the nutrition of their animals more economically. Prices for 20 kg square bales of alfalfa in Oregon varied from $260 for regular hay to $340 for premium alfalfa hay. So, is it possible to evaluate the hay's quality on your own? Yes, you can visually evaluate hay to get a general idea of its quality before buying it. 
similar to maturity, condition, color and odor, dry matter, crude protein, digestible nutrients, relative feed value, and minerals. Factors that help sellers to win orders. Focus on importer's requirement. Quote right price. Consider mutually beneficial shipping and payment terms. Frequent follow-ups with importers. Sample orders availability, vary product to product. Availability of lab report for quality check. Avoid unnecessary delays. Share factors that help you to gain importers' trust. Deploy a dedicated resource. Recurring orders are helpful to reduce the cost of doing business.